So what causes hurricanes like Harvey to form in the first place? Here with some answers is Michio Kaku, a CBS News science contributor and City University of New York physics professor. Professor, good morning. Glad to be on the show. So when you look at the storm as it sits right now hanging over Texas, what concerns you most about Harvey? Several things. First of all, if it lingers over the land, it could cause massive flooding. And then watch out. If it goes back into the Gulf, it could get re-energized and create a second, even a third landfall. And so the agony has just begun with this hurricane of the decade. Michio, let's talk about the science behind hurricanes. How actually do they form? Well, believe it or not, a hurricane is sort of like a bowling ball. They form off the coast of Africa as a small breeze, and then they gather energy as they go toward warm water across the Atlantic. And then if it comes in just right, it'll get a strike. It'll go into the Gulf of Mexico, get energized by the warm water, or it could be a gutter ball and simply veer off in the direction, a wrong direction. This hurricane went right through into the Gulf, got energized by the, by the warm water and Keep now hitting fuel, Texas. That fuel of the warm water. What about the speed? Because it was moving faster and slowed down. What's the impact there? Well, when it hits landfall, you have friction, plus it no longer is energized by the warm water beneath it. And so, it, so velocity drops enormously, and it goes from category four to category one within a matter of hours after it hits landfall. But watch out. If it goes back into the water, it can get re-energized, and the nightmare starts all over again. Yeah, because we're, we're, we're still experiencing, even in a Category 1, we're still dealing with, with flooding and storm surges, yes? That's right. And just remember that the, uh, the Gulf of Mexico is 2 degrees warmer than normal. And that has set off alarm bells in Washington. Just last month, the government issued a warning stating that because of the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico, this hurricane season, which goes on till the end of November, could be one of the worst in memory. So watch out. There could be more monster hurricanes to come. And that's that the theory that climate change is impacting all of this. Well, we're not sure, okay? However, there's no smoking gun. But it, it is consistent with the fact that the Gulf is warming up, and that is the energy that is driving these monster hurricanes. And according to the government, this hurricane season, watch out. Right. We, we've been talking about storm surges all morning. What, what exactly causes a storm surge, Mitchell? Well, storm surges could be 12, uh, 13 feet tall. And as the, the waves that are whipped around at 130 miles an hour hit landfall, sometimes they get bunched up as they go toward land. And that's why you get these huge monster waves hitting the coast, coming in at 130 miles an hour. I feel like we've talked a lot about some of the different storms that have hit, and maybe it's some of its comparison. Take something like Superstorm Sandy in comparison to Harvey or even Katrina. Can you make any kind of comparison with those? Yes, uh, Sandy had caused uh, about $70 billion in property damage, and it was only a Category 3, but it went right up the Northeast, causing tremendous flooding and damage in a very heavily populated and uh, very uh, densely populated area. Right. And Katrina was Category 5. It had property damage of about $100 billion, and it actually uh, created uh, cracks in the levees, right. which then flooded New Orleans. Now, here we don't have that situation, but I think it's going to be up there. It's going to be up there and perhaps among the top Why 10. Why do you say that, Micho? Uh, because this hurricane is a monster hurricane. It's uh, 130 miles an hour wind. It's lingering. It's stationary right now. It could cause a tremendous amount of flooding, blackouts, evacuations, and it could get re-energized again. So we're just seeing the beginning of the agony. Right. Dr. Micho Kaku, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Mm.